just need to get on the floor and play in game situations. The players have had enough practice. This game came together. It was added to the schedule January 10th. IUPUI had some cancellations as well. Video that his wife took of him watching his team from his basement went viral. It was really cool to see how into the game he was watching from abroad as Zed Key scores the first bucket of the game for Ohio State. Liddell averages seven boards per game along with 20 points. And the pull-up jump shot goes for Malachi Branham, the freshman from Columbus. Guarded by Nathan McClure, and Branham fires off the back iron. Liddell open for three. Drano. They battle some elite bigs in the Big Ten this season. IUPUI is average. They have struggled to score this season. They've scored 65 points or more just once in the regular season. Looking for their first points tonight. And a difficult reverse drops down for Malachi Branham. He's got four. Here's McClure back to La Persia. Shots have been very difficult to come by for IUPUI so far, but there's the first field goal of the night from Chooks Isitua to get back on track, find their rhythm and consistency again. But still 5-2 and two in the Big Ten and ranked 19th in the country. Lestrap drops it in. On the cut, Sotos with the layup. They're on their way. Kyle Young, patient here, stepping through. And great awareness and cut from Jimmy Sotos. Did a great job there, staying low, keeping his hand high to dissuade the three-point shot. Pandev kick out to Persia. The lefty fires and hits the three. Sinking in, didn't need to. E.J. Liddell was fine on the positioning, and he, and he lost his man for a three. And IUPI just completely lost Ed Key for an open layup. Sotos with three on the shot clock, and the lay-in by Eugene Brown the third. Nifty dump off from Sotos. Inside a 10 to shoot. Pocket pass to DePersia. What a feed from Dimitar Pandev. And DePersia's going to the line with a chance for a three-point play. But he's got six in the first half for the Jaguars. All the way over to Branham in the corner. That one rattles down, out, and back in. Third college basketball game. Has it now and fires the three. It's good. But offensively, when he can knock down shots like that, that really add, they need him to be a respectable shooter from the three, and he's doing that this season. The Big Ten is such a good league, and, and Illinois has been great the past two years. The future is bright, uh, but it's just, it's, it's, it's great to cover this whole league. And wow, tough finish from B.J. Maxwell. Uh, and if you do that, if you play fast, if you, you have a chance. Playing fast right now after another IUPUI steal, and Lestrap, the layup puts it in. I think they're trying to feel it out as opposed to running their stuff with assertive with assertiveness. That was assertive. E.J. Liddell. He gets to his spots and, and it's either a foul or a bucket. 980 career points for E.J. Liddell now and Lestrap is feeling it. Ohio State is one of those teams. Joey Brunk kept the pivot foot down but missed the layup. E.J. Liddell for two. I like Arns just looking to the basket, showing the ball, showing his eyes to the rim. He's creating opportunities for his teammates. And Cedric Russell. State Farm halftime report coming up next. EC Tua around EJ Liddell in the inside game starting to work a little bit for the Jags. Here's Chooks, EC Tua, and he drops it in. Boy, EC Tua, again, a freshman. He's having a great game against Ohio State, six points. Now Malachi Branham, short. There's E.J. Liddell. Jump stop and a score for Eugene Brown, who used his body very well, and he's got eight. And it's year one of a rebuild for the IUPUI program out of the Horizon League. There's Liddell, who hits. He's into double figures. They're really good offensively, but they're allowing IUPUIs just kind of Strange defenses to slow him down a bit, but hey, we mentioned the cross-court passes from E.J. Liddell. Another great find, Eugene Brown sticking it. Lacing up the sneakers for Tom Izzo and company. I wonder if Ryan Day would, would lend Chris Holtman any players if that <laughs> would come up. Here's Kyle Young. He would look good on the gridiron, I think, Trent, and he drops it in off the square. 
And this is where I'd like to see Ohio State play with a little bit more flow. Not Brown, two-hand flush. There's your flow. Jimmy Soto's on the floor as the point guard. You see Zed Key just establishing post position right off the bat. Nice spin, and around the world it drops through. Buckeyes' last game was just on Sunday, a five-point win at home against Penn State. If this game had not been scheduled, and there's a two-point shot at the horn by Bakari Lestrap. It would be great to see him knock one down. I know Chris Holtman would love to see that. Arnzo for two from deep today, and right-hand hook shot for Kyle Young. Young's got four points in the second half. Uh, and knock some down would be a great, you know, just a really good sign for their ball club. Cedric Russell continues the second half run for Ohio State. Bucks on a 22-6 break. Bucknell's a good program. He averaged over 11 points, four assists a game as a junior. That You know, this is a kid that can play, and you know, he's an important piece. You never know what could happen, and you might need some minutes. And I like Justin Arns. He doesn't venture inside the three-point line a whole lot. Off the right side of the rim, and Azariah Say has the rebound. La Persia open for three. Cans it. And that's maybe that's an area that he can focus on. How can he make those winning plays to impact the game without making shots? Kyle Young, talk about making shots. Nice shot there from the big fellow. And you shoot it, shoot it with, uh, with with decisiveness and like you want to. EC Tua with a nice up and under move. A three on three. And to Persia's blocked by Sotos. All the way over to Arns. This is like a free throw. Got it. Just been in the right place. Their positioning has been excellent. So defensively, they've been great. I think offensively, they've still been a little bit sluggish. But hey, Cedric Russell, here's a guy that um, hasn't scored a whole lot. Pete Nance expected to play, did not play against Michigan State. Wisconsin or Northwestern still got it done. Nice feed from Jimmy Soto. And Brunk takes it the rest of the way. Four points for Brunk. OK, Club Trill. It's an Ohio State reference. Mike Tite, Mark Titus. Nice finish there, too. Have a week, young man. Sotos for three on the feed from Huntfin. Of course, they got it. They played the game. But do you think this is a step forward for Ohio State as far as just getting their rhythm and consistency back? You get the opportunity to step out on the court and compete and play in front of fans. That means something.